Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World and today we're going to show you a little trick with uh, using your magnetic charging cable with the Oculus Quest. So currently I am using a magnetic charging cable on my Quest to charge and do data transfers to and from my Quest. This avoids me having to plug and unplug a cable constantly. Now I'm not using it for link, I'm just using it to move data and to charge. Let's take a look at what mine looks like. So here's my Quest and connected here is a magnetic charging cable. You can see there's no pins, it's all contact. And here is a plug that goes plugs right into the Quest. I just attach it. And this is pretty strong. I mean, you could you can plug this into power. I have a power thing on the back. Um, you could plug it into this and still be able to charge it without this coming off super easy. It's got a decent magnetic hold. But if you follow the cable down over here, it's plugged into my USB power. Basically, it's a power uh, extension that has tons and tons of powered USB ports. So every time that I want to plug my Quest in to my computer, I unplug this and I plug it into my computer. Of course, it's always backwards. And then you can see on SideQuest that it'll show up and you'll see that it pops up as connected. So then I go in and I do my file transfers or I'll do my cleanup, uninstall software, whatever. And then when I'm done, I'll unplug it, reach back over here and plug it back in, usually upside down as usual. And now it's back to charging. So this presents an inconvenience. It works, right? But you have to unplug, plug, unplug, unplug. So what I thought was, let's get one of these little switch boxes. What if I got a USB 3.0 switch box? then I could actually have the computer plugged in at the same time as I have power plugged in. That seems reasonable, right? And then using a simple button, I can push the button and switch between power and the computer. And it actually worked out remarkably well. In fact, it worked out so well, there was even a bonus. So what we'll do is, we'll plug this guy in. I'll plug this into my computer. Right, this does require some USB power, or it can require USB power, and I'll show you why you want to use that. I'm going to go ahead and plug some power into this. Now I'm going to take my Quest, and I'm going to plug it into here. So this is your single input, two outputs. As you can just hear, my computer is now picking it up, and it will attach here in just a moment. There. So right now you can see the switch box is switched over to this port. If I were to hit the button, You'll hear it disconnect, and it's now disconnected. Now I could use this other cable and plug this in, and then run this to my power. That way when it's not switched to computer, it's switched to power. But as it turns out, if you're powering this switch box, it's getting a feed of power back to the Quest right now. And you can see if I change it back, oh, wait a minute, let me do this real quick. So I will change it back to the computer. I will then enable wireless ADB. So I no longer have to have it connected to the computer for SideQuest to see it. I will disconnect it. And now it's only connected by Wi-Fi. And you can see right now that it's, it's at 100% power. Unfortunately, you can't tell that it's charging because it's at 100% power. But I can assure you that even though there's nothing plugged in here, the power coming in is being routed right back out. So this little guy, I don't even have to take up an extra power, uh, an extra power plug for. So this works, and it works very, very well. So now I can mount this up with my other switch boxes or whatever, and now I can switch myself back and forth from PC to power, and I never have to unplug another cable again. So this is a this is a really useful tool. I'm going to give you guys a link to both this switch box and this magnetic cable that I'm using because this magnetic cable comes with tons of different tips, right? So there's a ton of different tips. There's Thunderbolt. There's USB. Uh, uh, there's USB uh, micro USB, USB C, and if you look here, this is what this guy looks like. Pogo pins here. So you plug this into your device and then you just attach the magnetic cable and unattach whenever you feel like it. So this plugs right into the Quest. So no more wearing out that port. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed um, taking a look at this uh, Sabrin switch box and its usefulness in switching your Quest between power and your PC. Please subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, and uh, you'll get notifications of these and other great videos. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks for watching.